Hugh Laurie claims to be an atheist. <coughs> I add the cough at the end because the atheists that proclaim to be such a thing, the famous ones, the ones I have on my channel in my videos, they do satanic Freemason hand signs and symbols. If you are someone listening to me and you go, I don't believe in any of that, neither did I most of my life, but I'm telling you the truth. It's not fun looking like a crazy person for years and years online, okay? So I'm doing this because I want to tell you the truth. The world is biblical, so that means Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for all of our sins. He's the only way for salvation in heaven. He's the only one. It's very serious. The world, we're told in scripture, in the Bible, that it's run by Satan. Ever since Adam and Eve and biting of the apple, which I'll get into in a second, ever since then, we've been living in a fallen state. The world is not millions and billions of years old. It's thousands of years old. Everything is biblical, okay? Like, if, if you want to watch some of my videos, if you have a question, leave it below. Me and my brothers and sisters in Christ, who are doing this, doing this every day, we're trying to help you. It saves your eternal soul. Heaven and hell are real. When you die, it's up or down. And you can't earn your way into heaven by being a good person. We're all fallen sinners that need Jesus Christ. Hugh Laurie and others like him claim to be an atheist, but he is not. He is a Satanist. He does Freemason and Satanic hand signs and symbols. He took a bite out of the apple. So what that means is when Adam and Eve ate of the forbidden fruit, ate from the tree of wisdom and knowledge, the tree of good of evil, the one thing God told them not to do. God said, don't do this, you will die. Adam and Eve, instead of listening to God, Satan beguiled them, Satan fooled them, because Satan's the father of all lies. He said, no, no, don't listen to God, bite from the apple. And it doesn't have to be an apple. We're not told specifically an apple, but everyone knows it as an apple. On the back of my phone and computer, there's an apple with a bite out of it. The first Apple computer cost $666. Look it up. Hugh Laurie taking a bite out of the apple because Adam and Eve, they didn't listen to God. They took a bite out of the apple. Their eyes were opened, right? So everyone nowadays, they do these yoga hand signs and yoga mudras and meditation and opening their third eye, all this new age stuff, because that's enlightenment, except it's a false enlightenment from Lucifer, the light bearer, who can disguise himself as an angel of light. Satan doesn't always look like a guy with a pitchfork. Ranting on. Thank you for listening, by the way. Hugh Laurie took a bite out of the apple. He wants you to take a bite out of the apple. He's listening to Satan. He's rejecting the truth of Jesus Christ. And he gets fame and fortune because of it. He's winking here because it's one-eye symbolism. Also think about when someone winks, it's like they have secret knowledge, secret information. These people believe they have secret wisdom. They believe that they're all, you know, enlightened. This just came out today. I thought it was appropriate. Here are the devil horns on Hugh Laurie, the atheist. Here he is with the sign of success on his hand. It's actually 666. This finger, and you go around, makes a six. The second finger goes around, makes a six. The last finger goes around, makes a six. It is 666 on his hand. And I've kind of, we've kind of dubbed it the sign of success because that's how you get fame and fortune. And people that do this, like, look, he's doing it on purpose very clearly so you can see that he's doing a hand sign. It's not just A-OK. -okay. This is a vow of silence, keeping the secret, putting the finger to his lips, the vow of silence, keeping the biblical secret about the biblical world. This is one eye symbolism. He's got the bottle over one eye. This is one eye symbolism. He's blocking one eye and half his face. This is the slam dunk pose where he covers half his face, covers one eye, has one eye revealed for satanic eye of Horus Freemason symbolism. In the background, you see the Freemason checkerboard floor. They like to get it. It's, it's a duality, right? God wants us to be good and seek the truth with Jesus Christ and walk the narrow path. These people can look good and maybe give to charity and stuff like that, but then they do evil deeds and it all balances out. Duality, black and white, right? But that's not the way things go. 
And just the last one, there's the Freemason checkerboard again. The world is rigged, the world is fallen, and it's a big secret, except it's not a secret anymore because many people are waking up. Myself, about five years ago, I decided to reach out to Jesus Christ and ask him what the meaning of life is, if he's real, to help me, I was done with the world. Instead of giving up, I turned to Jesus. It wasn't overnight. I stuck with my faith. I researched and I found the truth. The meaning of life is to have faith in Jesus Christ. It's for salvation, forgiveness, eyes to see, and so much more that we can't even begin to imagine how good it will be. But we have to get through this world first. And it seems like we're running out of time to do that. So if you don't know Jesus Christ today, seek the truth. You will find him. Amen.